The keyboard instruments here in GarageBand have more than 13 different features, but never fear, in this video, we're gonna break down all of them in under five minutes. Let's go. One, to choose a keyboard sound, go to Keyboards, tap on More Sounds, and choose from any of the keyboard sounds you like. We're gonna start simple and go with the classical grand. Two, playing notes is as simple as tapping on the screen. Three, to adjust the octave, we can tap to the left to go down one octave, or to the right to go up an octave. To add sustain, tap on the sustain button and tap notes. Or you can latch sustain on by sliding to the right and sustain will stay on. If you have a device with face ID, some of your keyboards have face control. Tap on the face control and open and close your mouth and the modulation wheel will move. To adjust the keyboard layout and size, tap the keyboard icon here and you can change between single or double keys and also adjust the width of the keys. And while you're here, turn on your velocity and your key controls because we're covering that very soon. Many of your keyboards have a pitch bend wheel. You can tap a note and bend the pitch. Some of your keyboard sounds also have a modulation wheel where you can adjust the modulation as you play your notes. And remember your face ID, you can use this instead if you like. The velocity control allows you to set the minimum and maximum velocity for any notes you play. And this is so important, I've got a whole separate video about this linked in the description. In the middle here is our play mode. You can use Glissando, which does this. You can change it to scroll mode if you want to move around your keyboard, or you can change it to pitch on some instruments. Not comfortable around a keyboard? No problem. Tap on the scale button and change to a major or any other type of scale. And now, you can hit all the right notes. You might notice I've got note labels so I know what all of the different notes are. To enable that, you need to go into your settings app. In settings, scroll down and tap on GarageBand. And over on the right, make sure note labels are enabled. To use the arpeggiator, tap on the arpeggiator button, hit run and set the settings here. I've got a whole video about the arpeggiator if you wanna learn all about how to use it. To enable chord strips mode, tap on the chords button here and we can play chords in our treble and our bass. We also have autoplay. We can drag this around and turn autoplay on again for both our treble and bass. Just our treble. Just our bass. And bonus expert tip, if you tap with two or three fingers, you get a different progression. Some of your keyboard instruments have knobs in the top right corner where you can dial in the different knobs to get the perfect sound. And once you've set up your keyboard instrument exactly how you want it, you can save that as a preset for future use. Tap on the instrument, hit the save button, enter a name, and you're good to go. And your custom instruments are right here in your custom settings, ready to use in the future. Phew, that was a lot of keyboard instrument information in under five minutes. If you've got questions or comments, leave them down below. And while you're there, you'll find a complete playlist of GarageBand tips to help get you up and running in GarageBand. I'll see you next time.